Music blasting, people everywhere, and Jeremy dancing and walking? Not what Diane expected to find at his L.A. home. Hey, look at you! Oh, hey. I don't want to touch anything that hurts. Oh, everything. Is this new? Yeah, yeah, I just got up right yesterday. Really? I just got on my feet yesterday, yeah. At the time of the interview, it had only been 10 weeks since Jeremy was nearly killed when his snowplow rolled over him near his mountain home in Lake Tahoe. Are there any obvious injuries? Oh my God, yes. Today on GMA, Diane shared part of tonight's interview, including her conversation with the man who made that 911 call. He was just in such pain and the, the sounds that were coming out of him, and there was so much blood in the snow. And then when I looked at his head, it appeared to me to be cracked wide open and I could see white. Jeremy's nephew, Alex, was also on the scene. I, I stood over him in his crotch position, holding his arm for the entire time. Do you remember the pain? Oh, all of it, yeah. I sort of moved my legs, and I said, oh, that one, that one's really messed up. But I said, oh, yeah, that leg's gonna, that's gonna be a problem. His mother, Valerie, got emotional while recalling how she heard the news of her son's accident and then rushed to his hospital bedside. He was out. He, um, was breathing. It was so horrible. Your mom read to you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> So she's reading Stephen King, some like horror thing. <laughs> but she just wants to like read like she's reading Dr. Seuss to me, like, you know. It happened to be what I was reading at the time. <laughs> but I just wanted him to hear my voice. The Avengers star told Diane he wants everyone to know the real superpower is to transform your suffering into strength. So I shift the narrative of a being victimized or making a mistake or anything else. I refuse to be haunted by that memory that way this is what i talk to my family about from all their perspectives which are horrifying that i put upon them we just endured that's real love